Hey guys, and welcome back to Firewatch. Now, last time, what did we do last time? I always say this every single episode. So last time, we had to look and see what happened to the telephone uh, line because the lines were down, or should I say we couldn't call around. Then we found out it was the teens that did it, and we followed the trail of beer cans. We found the teens campment, encampment, campment, I don't know. The teens camp and they weren't there. It was totally destroyed and we had that really rude letter saying it was our fault and that they were leaving. I think, I don't know. I feel like if something dodgy had happened and they were hurt that there would be at least traces of blood. They wouldn't have, you know, left a note. I guess it could have been somebody else that trashed it but who knows. Let's continue. Who attaches it to a destroyed tent? Or... Wait, I don't know. Maybe someone else did destroy it and they leave it, but... I don't know. I just don't know what to... Find boards. Great. Great. Oh yes, we were boarding up our... Okay. So we were boarding up the broken window last time. Why? Yeah. Yes. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, Brett Reynolds. Who's Brett Reynolds? If Tom Cruise had this a good. Isn't that hard. <laughs> um, I don't know. Unless you just don't want to answer. I've had this guy. Well, I get confused for Brett Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> What? Don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, clothes. Clothes. I don't really think about it. Oh come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, Paper bag. Thick beard, which is true. We saw the picture. A uh, pretty thick beard. <laughs> oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. You like guys with beards? I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Ah, this bitch! <laughs> um, steely, happy, tired. Steely. What's steely? Steely. No, happy. Happy! I'm just gonna make it up, and because I'm no! nice, you won't look too disfigured. Okay. Okay, well. got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh my goodness! Delilah! Give me a chance to answer your questions, woman! We're trying to do a let's play here. Where is she anyway? She says she can see me. I can't see her though. Hey, I got my sheets bag. That's grim. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Find boards downstairs to patch up the window. That's what we were doing. Get to now. Get to now. Now we know. I still don't feel like those are a safe thing. They're very conspicuously placed. Is that the right word? Oh, could I use the outhouse? Oh wait, wooden boards. Oh, there's a wooden board. Get a couple more boards, okay. I'm guessing I'm not going to have enough. Cinder block, do we hear cinder block? Cinder block, cinder block. Okay. 
Hop over. Let's hop over. I don't know why we're gonna hop over. I don't think there's anything in here. Spigot. Cistern. Oh! Wait. What? I've turned it on. I don't know. Oh. Well, that's helpful. Ah! Wooden board. Broken board. I got another one. I'm going to take one just in case. You never know when you have too much. No, in my luck, it'd be like, oh, now you've done that, you've got one more board to get. So, better to have too many than not enough, right? Well, it's good to know that no nobody's trashed the place whilst I've just been down there. Alright, board at up time. This is such a boring job. Bore, bore, boarding. There we go. It's good as new. Well, except it's not. I got that window all patched made up. glass. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. All right. Oh. Sounds like a yeah. plan. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. All right, I'm ready. Oh, wait. Okay, ready. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. I have. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden <laughs> and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. Use your pillow. The forest depends on you. Okay. Oh, day nine. Okay, we, we hopped a few now. Now I'm eating a sandwich. Where did I get the sandwich from? Hello, Surprise, Henry. I guess. Having a nice afternoon? It's a pretty yes, I am. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Uh -oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Could those be the teens? We're supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh, this is creepy. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> Except destroyed their stuff. You told me Just to. Just their stereo. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yes, no, wait. It's worth mentioning. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me and then we got arrested. <laughs> All right, Henry, thanks. That Enjoy end. the sunset. All right. Okay. What am I meant to be doing? Am I just meant to be... Oh, day 15. Whoa, we are jumping super crazy now. Day 15. Henry. Henry, wake up. Okay, I'm up. Yes, no, I am up now. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Oh, okay. I was going to say, how can I... How, how, how if... What do you I... want? Can I hear her? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, it's flared. Or hi. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Oh, it's his. Um, are you having a nice time? Uh, it's Julia. I don't know. There's some weird Not stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. She's so sweet. Mm, I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Can you not say that? Hey, what the... 
Say something nice! That's Jules! I didn't... I was like, why is her, her accent suddenly changed? Why does she sound Australian for some reason? No, it was Jules. I didn't realise. I thought it was Delilah playing her shiz on me again. But is never mind. Is it pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. See, now I just feel terrible because I want... I didn't so, want to call... like, two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night? What? You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be I shouldn't here. be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. You told me not to... Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. Oh, okay. Dated for almost five years. Oh, I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to... Get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier Gillette. said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. Oh, I came out here. Nice guy. And told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over 10 years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you, so, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. Delilah talks way too much. <laughs> um... Gillette? Is that a place or is that like the company that does the shaving stuff? Because I can imagine that'd be a pretty dangerous job, you know. You know, with sharp pointy things. Well, not pointy things. Sharp cutty things and... Just terrible. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for Julia. I didn't realise it was Julia. I'm, I, I shows you how tired I was. Just woken up. I thought it was Delilah. Of course I'm not going to say babe to Delilah. Now I feel terrible. I wish I'd... Wish I'd... You know. Said the babe thing for Jules. I hope she doesn't remember that. I hope she understands I was tired. I was so tired. Hey, we got the mother load. Let me guess. One, two, three. One, two... Three, oh, four. Four. Yes. Okay, we have two forks. Do I... Oh, it's just my... I can't take... I can actually <laughs> steal their food. Nope. They need that. I'm going to shut this. I should probably lock it up again. But I don't have the padlock for some reason. This guy just threw it away. What do I say about it? All right. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Yeah. Who do you think I am? Day 64, so let's take another jump. 
Talk to Delilah. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Well, that one. That's scary. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Okay, let's call it the flapjack fire. Let's call it so, Delilah. No ideas, huh? Let's call it Delilah. Uh, yeah. Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, All right. what then? Flapjack. Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. I don't want to call it June. I want to call it the Flapjack so Fire. This creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Don't care. <laughs> What's, What's that? that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. Whoa! That time. I've had one too many. I'm not flirting with her. With tequila, a little I have a wife. reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, yes, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Or on fire, catch on fire. Yeah. yeah. You're here. Stop. Throw it in with me. Stop. Why do you keep knocking it down? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Put it back. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? You guys are so dead. What? What?